Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mandatory Happiness. Uh, huh, let me, uh, zoom that, 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 zoom out just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I found out where the tips menu is. Um, I had to, like, go out of the game by pressing the PS button, and then I had to, uh, then I realized when I came back, I was like, oh, that's what it is. Okay, so we can kind of read up on some of the things... I want to find, okay, crime coefficient. Let me see. A number that displays a target's risk of becoming a criminal. This is one of the values that make up a person's psychopath. After being read by a body scan, the crime coefficient is analyzed by the civil system. When the number is above a certain threshold, the target is regarded as a Latin criminal and is treated as such even if no crime has been committed. So it's very much like uh, Blade Runner, if I remember right. Um, I think. No. No. Wait. No, it's not Blade Runner. I think I remember watching the first episode and thinking that the environment reminded me of Blade Runner. There's another movie, I don't know what it's called, but it's a movie where they have that that biological weapon thing that can determine if someone is likely to commit a crime based on their past or their mental patterns or something, and they use that. I can't remember what it's called. If anybody knows what it's called, leave a comment down below and remind me because I'm a terrible film person. I love I love movies, but I I have not seen a majority. If you if you can name a movie from the eighties, there's a good chance that I have not seen it. Uh, anyway, so okay, let's go ahead and continue. Something's interfering with the car's navigation system. This enemy is quite the skilled hacker to be able to break into the car like this while it's in manual drive. That's absurd. They're just high school students. I didn't hear anything about them having advanced data processing skills. And the motive stems from his obsession, right? It seems like an impulsive crime. I really don't think he'd be capable of something like hacking. What's the level of Shiori Matsukata's information processing skills? There's the possibility that she is lending the suspect some assistance. Her academic results are stellar, but her information processing skills are only average. Then there's the one possibility left. There is someone helping Haruto Sato. Yep, Alpha. So someone who possesses highly skilled hacking abilities has precipitated Haruto's abduction of Shiori. Is this what you are thinking, Enforcer Kogami? The situation now can be explained no other way. The problem is who's doing it and for what purpose. What of Haruto's whereabouts? It's like they disappeared. The GPS data and now all the logs from the street cameras and scanners have been erased. If we can't depend on that data... Will we have to inquire about this matter in the streets like this during the old days? I have no idea how many years it would take to solve the case with such a prehistoric method. Maybe not, Inspector Ginoza. My gut tells me that Haruto has been leaving clues all over the place. I have no interest in baseless speculation. Hold on, Inspector. Let's hear what Surugi has to say. Whether his past relationship with Shiori was one-sided or mutual, Haruto isn't the kind that... Haruto isn't the type to keep it hidden. Unable to contain himself, he will be moving recklessly. How so? Like, telling friends about it, looking for date spots online, and maybe later c confessing his love to her. Why are you tripping over your words? Are you embarrassed? Wow, Taku is such a sweetheart. Shut up, asshole. Emergency report. Location of Shiori Matsukata and Haruto Sato has been confirmed. Listen to this audio from a drone patrolling within the city. Help me! Is there a problem? The Ministry of Welfare's urban service system supports the healthy lives of the public. Make a report. Aren't you a public safety bureau drone? What are you doing? Gasp. Why aren't you going to the restroom? What do you think you're doing? Trying to run away, huh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Severe stress response detected. Hue check will be conducted. Hue color, sienna. Immediate treatment at your nearest medical specialist is recommended. See now, see what you've done? We got caught by a hue checker. Now we've been flagged. But don't worry, we won't get caught. Hey, Shiori, running is pointless. Stop. Help me. Be quiet. Don't make me hurt you. Yeah, he's he's kind of a dick, okay? I, I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt for like a split second, and then he, he, he just threw that out the window, and he's a creep, and he deserves to get whatever's coming to him. So, uh, let's do this. Is this all we have? What about the footage? Nothing was recorded. There's a good chance it was erased, but the drone's face recognition software was functioning properly, and the audio data verification is complete. So that means it was actually Shiori and Haruto. We have to hurry, then. 
Activate all drones within Southern Marine City. Widen the search area and find them both. What about hacking countermeasures? No problem. We'll form a surveillance net with real-time data sharing across all drones. This will apprehend the hacker before they can begin infiltrating our systems. As a method, one can say it's extremely old-fashioned and orthodox. A plan similar to inquiring, as suggested by Enforcer Masaoka. Are you saying that I'm on the same level as Masaoka? Inspector Kugatachi, I suggest you choose your words carefully. Inspector Gendoza, why are you getting so emotional? I cannot comprehend why your expression, attitude, speech, and body language are all indicating anger. I am not angry. That statement is wrong in many ways, but your denial is a human characteristic I find intriguing. However, emotions may distort judgment. Are you saying that my judgment is wrong? There are results we can expect from inquiring others. We can learn about the suspect Haruto Sato's background, social network, habits, and profile. Shut up! Inspector Genosa, Mr. Ms. Kugitachi, please stop this argument at once. First, we must decide what course of action to take now. I've never been, I've already given the objective. Just follow my instructions. There's no, there's no need to put it like that, Inspector Genosa. Tsurugi, are you going against me as well? Why are you trying to pick a fight? I don't think asking around is meaningless. We, let's just do everything we can. Then let's split into two teams. Inspector Genosa's team will utilize the drones to pursue the suspect. I will go with Mr. Masaoka and question the bystanders. Agreed. Only two cars could be prepared for without the auto navigation system. That leaves one for each of us. Do as you please. Surugi, you're coming with me. What should I do? Oh, really? Really, it's going to make me decide? I don't want to do that. So I do inquire or do I track? Do I inquire or track? Inquire, I don't know what either of these mean. That's the problem. I haven't really been listening. I've been more reading than listening. That's not a good sign. Um, let's... Let's track. Okay, it's pretty good. So you're the boss. Let me see what it's like to go fox hunting with drones. I'm no aristocrat, and the suspect is no noble beast, but there's no mistake that your enforcers are dogs. Don't forget how to run and be of use. You sure know how to speak in an offensive way, but it's fine. It's also part of being a detective. Then I will go with Inspector Sinimori. I want to prove my I passed to his that in listening is an effective method to confirm the background of a suspect. Do you think of the investigation as an experiment, Kurukitachi? Is testing out a hypothesis not a standard method that is applicable to unexpected circumstances? Ms. Kugitachi, the argument ends now. We're moving out. Ms. Karno Mori, can I leave the data recovery to you? Sure thing. I'll do what I can. You sure have it tough, Akane. Could that girl really have been born in the lab? Ms. Karno Mori! I don't understand the meaning of the question, but I've had education in the fields of medical care and psychology. Unfortunately, as far as episodic memories go. Uh, I, okay, I understand. Yep, yep, an accident, right? Rather than the lab, her personality feels like it was created in a factory, like an industrial product. A droid or a drone, perhaps. Miss Droid, huh? Come to think of it, there was someone else like that. Who are you talking about? Who knows? Miss Kunizuka is different. She actually has emotions, and her heart beats like a normal human does. Isn't that so? I wonder. But if you put it that way, it makes Inspector Kugatachi sound far less than human. It is true that my emotions are extremely flat, and it may give off an impression that I'm not quite human. Enforcer Surugi, do you think that's true? Maybe, but that's your weapon. I have a feeling you won't break no matter what kind of incident you get involved in. Is that so? We're leaving, Surugi. I'll say this once. Even if the auto navi is unusable, I have no intention of letting an enforcer drive. But I know the area, so... Do your best to operate in place of the navi. Okay. Inspector Genoza, deployment of the drone network is complete. System synchronization is stable. No signs of any hacking either. Okay, keep your eyes peeled. Notify me at once if you find it as a suspect's vehicle. Roger that. Tsurugi, we're depending on your familiarity with the area. 
If you were the suspect, where would you want to go stay hidden? The place Haruto is likely to go to. I don't know. Are you kidding me? Uh... Well, if he wants to stay hidden, he's probably gonna go into the residential area, maybe. Let's go to an area where there are people. Well, that's not what I expected. I, I kind of anticipated it being like a place you could hide out in a house. Like an empty house if you wanted to. The residential area took up a large part of the top layer, the third floor of the dome-shaped Sato Marine City. But as a result of its reduction due to the population decline, the entire area could be easily covered with an electric bicycle. When I was young, I thought it was a really big city, but now it feels more like a small garden. I have been born and raised in this city, same as Yukari, but she left, went somewhere far away. That anxiousness and frustration I have felt, well, Haruto's feeling it too. Who wants to bet we're going to try to recruit Haruto? Target sighted. The drone has detected the suspect's vehicle. Where is it? Within the residential area. It's close by. We'll provide you with the map. The position of Haruto's car appeared on the monitor of the navigation system, right after the car accelerated. Wait, what's going on? The drones are disappearing off the map one by one. It's the hacker. The drones are losing the location data. You're saying he can interfere with the Public Safety Bureau's drones? I see it. It's Haruto's car. So far off, but definitely visible. It was going pretty fast. This is the NWPSB. Stop the vehicle. If you resist, you will be considered an at-will target. I could see the young girl clinging onto the car's rear window. Couldn't see her expression, but she wasn't in a good state. She was probably crying for help. Get me out! Haruto, stop already! Suddenly, the car came to an abrupt stop. The airbags deployed and blocked our line of sight. What are you doing? I don't know. The car just... Inspector, please look at the map. Looking at the map, the road ahead was a dead end. Oh, sorry. I was listening to the music. I was like, what is this? Up until now, it was fine, but somehow the road we'd been following was completely gone from the screen. What in the world is this? The only possibility is the map data was overwritten. Sensing that we were going into an inaccessible route, the vehicle safety functions kicked in. Didn't we omit the auto navi? The auto navi can be removed, but safety functions cannot. Shit! I kicked the door open and jumped out. The road was there, not data, an actual road. Something like that couldn't just vanish. And now Haruto's car faded away in the distance. Haruto! Taku, what are you doing? You're not planning on running after them, are you? Running after the suspect only happens in old police dramas. A hard-boiled detective wouldn't do something that unsophisticated. Then what are you going to do? Shu, I couldn't become hard-boiled, but I'm also not stupid enough to just run after them. I don't know what to do. Shit. We couldn't just stand by and wait here. Just then, Miss Kunizuka swiftly restarted the car and returned it to a drivable condition. But even if it could be driven, we didn't know if it could catch up to Haruto's car. A heavy silence fell among us. Did I get the bad end? Suddenly, the sound of an emergency call rang throughout the car. It was from this car in Nogori. What happened, Yayoi? I detected a strange disturbance in the area. Did something happen? I'll bring you up to speed later. More importantly, what have you found out? Oh, yeah, we got a lead on Haruto Sato. Well, uh, we have to leave that lead for another day. So thank you all for watching. I will see everybody next time. This is Psychopaths, Mandatory Happiness. I will put a link in the description that you can buy in this game at. It is by, it's uh, localized by, uh, by NIS America and developed by other people. I don't know who it's all developed by. But, uh, so thank you all for watching. My name is Chaos Signature. If you enjoyed this video, please like or dislike. And if you want to subscribe, there's a little button right down there that lets you subscribe. And it will help me out tremendously. Uh, anyway, so until next time, I will see everybody next time.